Hey everyone, I'm Stefan, and welcome back to Cooking with the Chems. We got a special request from a viewer, and today we're making some fresh poke. Poke is perfect during the summer. It's delicious and refreshing. A little salty, a little spicy, and crunchy. Today we're putting our spin on it by throwing it on some fried wonton shells and topping it with some spicy Japanese mayo, serrano chilies, and fresh avocados. I'm using the freshest fish possible, sushi great ahi tuna. And you can get very creative with your own toppings as well. So let's get cooking. Let's work on the marinade for the tuna. In a mixing bowl, I'm adding in some low sodium soy sauce. Now, some rice wine vinegar. Some toasted sesame oil. Granulated sugar for some balance. Then some Aleppo pepper. You can use any dry chili that you have in your pantry. Go in with a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. A sprinkle of kosher salt. And whisk all together until the salt and sugar is fully dissolved into the marinade. Let's give it a taste for seasoning. Now we're gonna work on the tuna for our poke. I have this beautiful and red ahi tuna steak. It's very important to know where your fish is coming from, especially with this kind of preparation. We're going to be small dicing our tuna. First thing to do is to slice the tuna and then cut into strips before going over with the knife one last time into a small dice. Fresh tuna should not smell fishy and should not be slimy in texture. Traditional poke is usually cut into pretty big pieces, but today we are elevating and adding some finesse to this dish. The tuna is going straight into the marinade and now we will mix gently, making sure that the tuna is completely coated with that delicious goodness. After mixing, I like to grate some fresh ginger and garlic before mixing one last time and covering with plastic wrap and placing in the refrigerator for a minimum of 30 minutes and up to two hours before serving. I have two Persian cucumbers. First, remove the top and bottom and slice before cutting into strips and then a small dice about the same size as our tuna. I love using Persian cucumbers because the whole cucumber is delicious and it doesn't need to be peeled and have the seeds removed. If you can't find these, any cucumber is fine. Just peel and remove the seeds before dicing. Next, I'm slicing serrano chilies into thin slices for the garnish. I'm leaving the seeds in because I love spice, but you can remove them if you want. Now I have a bunch of scallions and we will cut the green parts really thin. First, we would trim off the top. We're going to do a fine chop and let the knife do all the work. We're going to slice in a rocking motion until the green onion is paper thin. This takes practice and a sharp knife. Then the scallions are going into some ice water. The water shocks the scallions, creating a nice texture and it preserves that bright green color. Stir for about 15 seconds then strain and place on paper towels and set aside for later. Making the spicy Japanese mayo is super easy. It only requires two ingredients, equal parts Japanese style mayo and sriracha hot sauce. Give that a nice little stir and pour into a plastic bottle. You can use a plastic zip bag if that's all you got, but I highly recommend investing in these bottles. Let's fry the wonton shells I have some peanut oil here at about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You can use the oil of your choice if you would like. We're going to use a special technique for our poke tacos. Set the wonton sheet into the spider strainer before placing a metal ladle on top, then slowly drop into the hot oil. Give it about 10 seconds before removing the ladle and pouring the hot oil and then flipping. The metal ladle will give it a nice rounded shape. This should only take about 30 to 35 seconds. We are looking for a nice light brown. Remove and let cool. I like to cut and prep my avocado right before plating because the avocado will oxidize and turn brown if prepared too far ahead. 
first cut and peel the avocado. Slice and cut into strips before dicing. Place into a mixing bowl, squeeze some fresh lemon right on top. That fresh squeeze of lemon will add flavor and also keep the avocado from oxidizing. And a sprinkle of kosher salt. Add some olive oil and toss gently so that the avocado is coated and not smashed. Now it's time to plate up. First, remove the tuna from the refrigerator and add the cucumbers in and give it a nice toss. I like adding my cucumbers right before serving because it preserves that crunch and freshness. Place three shells on a plate. Place about a spoon's worth of tuna into each shell. Top with avocado. Then a nice drizzle of spicy mayo. Some of that thinly sliced serrano pepper scattered. Some furikake, which is a Japanese condiment consisting of toasted sesame seeds and seaweed. And then finishing it off with a nice pile of scallions right in the middle. The ahi tuna is fresh and savory and it looks beautiful with a variety of flavors and textures. It takes me back to the time when I lived in New York and had my first wonton taco at Chelsea Market. The heat from the Serrano chilies is balanced with the tuna and cucumber, while the creamy avocado and crispy wonton gives you different textures with every bite. Thank you for checking out our channel. If you enjoyed this recipe, please like, share, and don't forget to subscribe so you can catch our videos every week. Follow us on our socials at Cooking Chems, and we look forward to seeing you on the next video.